Okay, breaking news coming in. In fact, pathetic conditions in Imphal for the senior hockey nationals that are scheduled to begin from today. The accommodation facilities are not only poor and the players are forced to sleep on the floor with washrooms drowned in water. Hockey India was uh, apprised about the situation three days back, following which they swung into action and has sent their CEO, Elena Norman, to check the facilities. India today got in touch with Elena, who said the situation has improved and players are being provided facilities they deserve. Well, well, uh, it's on your screens right now. Uh, what sort of facilities are being provided to them? Let me quickly go across uh, to my colleague Rahul, who's joining me on the phone line for more. On, in fact, he's joining us live for more on this story. Rahul, this is the problem that sees to, in fact, end. Despite Rajivardhan Rathor, an Olympian, uh, a silver medalist in the Olympic Games, now at the helm of affairs, the players in the country still don't get what they deserve. Well. Uh Absolutely, Ankit. Uh, you know, just to uh, put things in perspective, uh, firstly, the uh, the northeastern state of Manipur actually asked uh, Hockey India uh, to let them host uh, senior nationals, hockey senior nationals. Uh, of course, uh, Hockey India obliged them, but the conditions uh, that were made available for the players were really, really pathetic. And uh, and three days back, when Hockey India was uh, informed uh, that uh, these are the conditions that are made available for the players, mm. uh, they don't have beds uh, there to sleep, so they have to, you know, uh, uh, they were sleeping uh, on on mattresses on the floor. Okay. And uh, and Hockey India swung into action. They uh, flew out their treasurer and CEO Elena Norman. I just had a word with her, and she is saying that situation has improved a lot in the in the last couple of days, and uh, most of the issues have been rectified. That is what uh, what is coming from Hockey India, but absolutely no uh, no excuses uh, here. But these kind of uh, conditions should have not been there with me. in the first Stay place. Stay on with me, Rahul. We are also being joined by Mr. N.K. Kaushik. He's a former India hockey team coach. Sir, uh, this is a situation that we have highlighted today, but uh, overall, the, the uh, state of affairs, as far as the hockey team or even other athletes in the country are concerned, they still face massive neglect. See, this is, uh, 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 I think, is uh, not required because now hockey uh, presently is doing very well. All are doing very well in league, and everything is organized well in office as well. But uh, for the tournament, for kids, and for uh, uh, upcoming players, we still need to look at these facilities because nationals are very important for selection process is concerned. And mostly, mostly senior boys uh, uh, nationals are going on in B division. So I think. Facilities have to be checked uh, before you allot somebody whether this is place is capable of doing the nationals or no. I think in future, uh, uh, Alina will take care of it. This time she has done good job by reaching herself. Mm. And I think in future this will not happen. Future this will not happen. Uh, and uh, this is what we are hoping that, uh, uh, you know, uh, Mr. Kaushik, when uh, Rajivadan Rathor, uh, when he took the Helms Affair of the Sports Ministry, there was a lot of uh, hope and excitement as far as the players are concerned because being a former Olympian, being an Olympic champion himself, he possibly understood things much, much better. Who would you blame, sir? Things are, uh, you know, even if she has gone there, but why is it that only after hue and cry we see some action? Why aren't these things provided in the first place? This is not what our players deserve. And we expect them to bring gold medal every, at every international, uh, you know, uh, uh, competition. It's a wonderful question because now the question arises is that person like person like us, Olympian is sitting at the head of affairs is the uh, sports minister. Now he knows everything because he himself was a player and faced all these problems during his tenure. So I think I think excluding excluding his political party, he should take care of all these things. He knows very well about the conditions working, and and I think I think very clear to him. Nobody has to tell him anything. Now is the time for him to prove that one Olympian can do wonders when he becomes at a responsible place. When we talk, when we are outside the field. Now since he is the minister, there's a lot of expectation from him. From as far as uh, my case as an Olympian is concerned, I am very much concerned because now things should improve, uh, and he understands how the traditions are working. So the working has to be checked by him now and not getting involved into the politics of party, keeping himself above politics. And 
taking care of sports. That is what I expected from him. Uh, Mr. Kaushik, before I let you go, sir, uh, should there be some sort of an action that should be taken against the organizers? Because the problem is that now they may try and, uh, you know, rework, they may try and provide better facilities. But because people, those who organize, get away with such lapses, possibly we see a repeat almost every time. The International Hockey Federation decides to give hockey promotion on financial basis. When they don't have any resources and when they think of spending money, they have to first think from where they're going to get. When they allot the nationals to the federation or associations, then they have to see themselves first, do it or no. With the facilities like cricket, when they go, they see the pitches, they see the uh, facilities, okay. and then they allot matches like this. We should do it in other games as well. Sir, stay on with me. Uh, I, I request you to stay on with me. Let me also bring in at this point of time, Jagvi Singh, former... Uh, okay, we have lost that line. I just wanted to go and get a word from a former hockey player as well. Uh, uh, Mr. Koshik, if you are still with me, uh, as you were talking about the incentives that various federations get when they host such big uh, uh, tournaments, possibly this is a very important tournament uh, as far as the selection for the senior team is concerned. Shouldn't there be some sort of a de-incentivization of sort or a policy where if you don't provide facilities, you don't get representation or you don't get the funds for your uh, zone? You have to put water at the base, not at the not at the seat on top hmm. of trees. And I think uh, this is the base, national is the base, and we should not uh, forget that all selections are done from here. So I think national has to be on priority, then the league, then the money path on top of it. This should be the priority. Just stay on with me, uh, sir. Uh, I'm also being joined by Mr. V. Bhaskaran uh, uh, for uh, more on this story, sir. Having seen the system from inside so closely and now with focus coming in on better facilities for the players with Rajivardhan Singh Rathore, a former Olympic medalist at the helm affairs of the Ministry of Sports, we still don't see the chalta hai attitude being shun away as far as the sports facilities in the country are concerned. These pictures are shocking. Well, I think that's regarding the nationals being uh, conducted at a place where uh, we had some problem with the national games too, prior to this national uh, uh, hockey being held there from tomorrow. But I, I finally, I mean, I feel that uh, the place and venue for a, such a big team, for, a, for a, such a big uh, hockey game in okay. India, uh, has, has, not be, has not been used properly. Because uh, uh, apart from playing conditions, the travel for the players uh, uh, from down south, say like for example, Andhra, or Hyderabad or Tamil Nadu is quite long and they had to fly from uh, Calcutta to reach there and then start playing there. I think it's quite a big uh, money. Okay. But I think we are not... Right, thank you so much, uh, sir, for joining us on the broadcast. Uh, we are only hoping that uh, Mr. Rator himself personally takes note of this. This is a time when uh, the players have a lot of hope for better facilities from a man who has seen how the system works from within. That is why in India they say that most of these players, those who get medals at the international level, they are getting it because of their grit, because of their determination, not with the system, but despite the system. All right, uh, with that, we're slipping to a very short break. On the other side, uh, in fact, uh, we'll get to our special show, but for the fastest news on the go. Log on to indiatoday.in and you can download our app for minute-by-minute minute updates. On the other side, India Today's special broadcast on Triple Talak. I'm back with the headlines at 5 p.m. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also, check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.